hey 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 good evening and welcome my name is sandra my channel is called sussex sandra and welcome how are we all doing are we all doing all right yeah um yeah i was looking at the comments for yesterday's video most of you seem to be doing okay one of you's not doing so great kirsty lou i hope you're feeling better now yeah I, I I get it. I I I totally get it. With all the everything, just symptoms coming down on you at the same time. I totally get it. So I hope you are recovering and taking it easy. All right. Um, a little update for you on my condition. So I did go to the doctors yesterday and I had the ECG, and it seems like. Um, I don't fully understand it, so I'm probably explaining this completely wrong. But it seems like, um, you know, the heart is shaped sort of like it's got four chambers. So it seems like my bottom two chambers, which are the ventricles, which I think they're the ones that pump the blood out. I think. I think they're the ones that pump the blood out all around the body. I think so. Anyway, they are not... Um, beating regularly they're, they're a bit on the erratic side so when you look at the ECG graph it's got deep spikes like that and it's not supposed to be like that so that's so the doctor um, yesterday said he's going to look at it again properly today um, and he's going to refer it to a cardiology colleague and they'll get back to me but again, he asked me, have I had any chest pains, headache, lightheadedness, anything like that? And I said, no, I feel perfectly fine. Um, and he just said the same thing. Just like if you um, if are experiencing any chest pains, ring 999 straight away. But, you know, so that was like, oh, yeah, basically I was like, oh, crap. But I just got to wait and see what happens now. So so I said to him, um, do you think it's got anything to do with cholesterol? Because I'm thinking it might be my diet. Um, I've got so much, I was just thinking I might have so much fat around my heart that it's just not constricting properly. It can't be. And he said, no, it's, it's nothing like that. Um, but again, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to refer it to the cardiology. Um, it's um, basically he said it could be just something to do with the electric current it might be disrupted some way but he said he doesn't want to say anything until he knows the definite so that's the update on that so i will find out more when i find out more i will let you know but as of now i feel all right you know i had a good day I'm feeling good i'm eating healthy i even had granola this morning i don't eat things like granola but i had granola this morning and sort of um greek yogurt look at me this is the girl who normally would have quite happily have sausages and eggs and bacon <laughs> or or i don't know um kellogg's golden crunch or something like that crunching up yeah none of that no more i i'm i'm not taking in a risk i'm just gonna be the best ever now until i know what the heck's going on T it takes a fright for you to like okay let, let's let's reevaluate what's going on here so i've had my fright so i am paying attention now and watching everything i do I haven't quite got around to the exercising bit yet, but I'm taking care of the diet side. I'm going to look at the, the exercise side of things this weekend. Anyway, right, you're not here for that. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. So today I've got some unboxings to do. So what arrived today, I received my birch box. I received my glossy box and you know I have got my Ipsy, my second Ipsy bag from September to do. So what I think I will do, I'm going to continue with the October boxes for now. I'm going to do the glossy box for October. It's got a bit of weight to it and I'm actually quite keen to see what this is because October's usually got a nice theme a Halloween theme so I'm kind of hoping that's what we've got here but before I open that box oh I think what I'm going to do as well I'm going to do my glossy box versus my ipsy glam bag should I do that or should I make the birch box you know what I'll make the birch box versus the ipsy because both of them are September so I'll just compare the two and see how they compare but I'll do the glossy box by itself today yeah all right so before i go into this box glossy box let me do 
a little review of my September glossy box. So in September, got five items, and let's see. First item out of the box was from Aveeno Daily Moisturiser. More than happy with that. It was a good sized amount of moisturiser. I like Aveeno products in there. They're decent quality. I've been using it every day. Daily Moisturiser, still using it, so I haven't used it all up yet, and it's great. Really, really happy with that. All good. It's the kind of product I would buy, so not a problem with that. That for me was a good all-round product. Fairly low value, because it's a very reasonably priced product. That size is about five pounds, so, you know, but it's all good. The Glossy Box, I, I didn't say the Glossy Box, because I subscribe for the year, so I can't cancel during the year, the box is a little bit cheaper a month for me, so I pay £11.50 for the box. So for me, it's all right. Last month's box, I don't think I've got my value, but I'm not too unhappy. It's, it is what it is, isn't it? Right, so the Avena, that got a score of one. Oh, again, <laughs> so I'm all over the place again. For those of you who don't know, I do tend to score my, my beauty box subscriptions. So I give a score of one for products that I like and I'm going to be using. So they get a score of one. I give a score of a half if it's a product that I possibly might not use, but somebody in my close family, like my daughter, my mum, my sister might use, Kayla might use, but someone in my close circle, uh, if they're going to use it, it gets a score of a half. I might, I might also drop the score from a one to a half if it's a product that after I've used it, I've decided I don't like it, I don't think that much of it, I might drop the score from a one to a half. So... That's where we're going with that. So the Aveeno gets a, a one. Um, and my final score is a score of zero. And the score of zero is given to products that I'm not going to use. I don't like for whatever reason. So it could be the brand. It could be the product. It could be the colour. It could be all sorts of things. So I will either throw the product away or I might put the product in a giveaway. It could even be as simple as that I've received the product so many times before. I've got a full size of the product here already. I don't need it. So... I'll put it in the giveaway yeah so so that's my three scores one half and a zero so as I said the Aveeno perfect nothing wrong with that product it's a good moisturizer you got a score of one the next product was from a brand called Daily Concept this is one of those brands which I really don't like and we get a lot of in Look Fantastic and Glossy Box it's like the Brushworks brand I just think they're cheap crappy brands that make cheap crappy versions of decent products and I just don't like their products at all it's just the quality is just not there so from daily concept we got this rubber body scrub it's a kind of thing that they're calling it a body scrubber i've got one in yellow which i use to scrub my dishes <laughs> so yeah but if i wanted to call it a body scrubber i would call it a body scrubber and i paid something like three or five pounds for a pack of three this is literally what this was just that it's got a little thing on the back so you can hold it this is crap for me personally i just think it's crap i just don't like the brand anyway i did put it in the giveaway after saying all that and then i'm saying i'm putting it in the giveaway it's not great is it <laughs> i dissed the product completely and said yeah but yeah you can have it sorry <laughs> it's not good the next product was from grace and stella so this is a product that i've received many times before um i've actually got a full size of the product and it's this it's the grace and stella spray all day rose spray so this is the full size and how i use the product now is literally just to moisten my sponges but now because i always forget to to moisten wet my sponge my beauty sponge so i just use this and spray spray my sponge and then use it to apply my makeup that's how i use it but we got a, a little deluxe sample size of the bottle um it was all boxed it was sealed so i've put that in the giveaway as well because i clearly don't need it so that gets a score of zero as well. Next product was from Staniac and it was a two-in-one lip and cheek. I've, I think I've actually put it in the, my trash now. Um, I've had one before so and I showed you in my video last month of the one I had before and it's literally just this sort of it's a lip and cheek stain. I, I didn't think much of it. I've had it before, as I said, and I received it from Glossy Box or Look Fantastic before. Didn't think much of it. So this one I instantly put in the giveaway box. It's not a product that really shows up on my skin tone. It doesn't do anything for me. It's not something I would reach for. I mean, I kept the one I had before because I thought I might use it and I clearly haven't used it. So this one, I put it in the giveaway. 
and and it got a score of zero as well and the final product was from wild science and it was a night shift eye cream so i decided to keep that i think i did i think i decided to keep it i mean i haven't used it yet but i think i decided to keep it so i can't really comment on it as yet because i haven't used it as yet because i'm currently using eye creams at the moment but i think i kept it I, I, honestly i'm not sure um so for now i'm going to give it a score of one because i think I've kept it and I will use it in the future. So in total, my box for September only scored a two out of five, which is not great, is it? Not great at all. But let's see what our September, sorry, our October box looks like. So this is what it looks like. Let's do a little thumbnail picture and smile. There we go. All right, let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Um, I've got variation one, so I don't know if that makes any difference. But I'm actually quite intrigued because this box has got a little bit of weight. Because if I think about the Look Fantastic box, which I opened yesterday, it was so light. Um, it was light in quality and content. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look what I'm faced with here. Right, wait a minute. It's a themed box. It's wonderful. It's a bit of a smell coming from it. It smells like refreshers, sweets. You know from Swizzle Sweets, refreshers? That's what it smells like. But look at the box. Ooh wee. Mmm. So let's do that. Bring it in a bit more. So my themed picture, my thumbnail. Okay. Such a fake smile, wasn't it? But yeah, look at that. I love the makeup. It's really, really cool. And it's very easy to do as well. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, this should be exciting. We've got the usual leaflets. I don't even bother to talk about those anymore. But let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's all a bit wet. Oh, no. It looks like it's got wet or something's leaked. But there's definitely a strong fragrance coming from here. But you can see my box looks like it's leaked. So I'm hoping I can... Oh, no. I bet you I can't... Yeah, the inside of the box is wet. I don't know if I'll be able to scan it. I don't think I'm going to be able to scan it. It's all, it's stuck. I can't scan it. Oh, bloody hell. It looks like the theme is hidden places, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to scan because it's this is stuck on the, yeah, I can't peel it off. Look, I can't peel it off. Flip it next, there's another box which I can't get the information about the products from. That's so frustrating. So what's wet? Something has leaked. So let's see what has leaked and what's damaged. Yeah, it's all very wet and very fragrant in here. Oh gosh. Right, so first of all, we have got some sweets in here, but it all looks like it's damaged, um, probably. But we've got some dairy milk, fruitier and nuttier trail mix. Maybe this isn't um, damaged. But that's in them from Cadbury, so they're doing a, a little pro promotion. This is all sodden and wet. <laughs> it's all really wet. It's a little soggy. So that's that. Then I've got um, we've got a sample of this. Yeah, this is all really wet and sticky. So it's from Neutrogena. It's a retinol boost. It's a little sachet. Yeah. Right. So this is what has leaked. Yeah, this has leaked all over the box. So there's, there's nothing in it. And it was, what was it? It's a hot air, hot hair gold. It was a heat protection shine mist. Now that is a shame. That is something that it could have been used. Because as I said, I use products like this when I'm blow drying out, particularly Kayla's hair. And it smells nice as well. So it would have given a nice scent. That's a shame. So uh, this is a shame. This has leaked all over. Can't really give you much information on it because I haven't got the um, scan code. But it's a heat protection shine mist with um, botanical extracts and amino acids. Add moisture and shine. Keep flyaways at, sort of taking all the stray bits and pieces off. Keep um, flyaways at bay and help fortify hair against um, frequent heat styling okay be fresh i'll see if i can find some information on it and anything i can find i'll put up on the screen over there 
but that's a shame this is what's leaked all over the box and that's a shame because that is a product I would have used well not me personally but it would have been used oh. Oh. this whole box is just a soggy mess right okay right next is oh not this product again right so this is um from vegan original skin essence toner lotion tonic i've received this before as well so the first time i received it i think was in rocker box possibly and i remember it had a really ridiculously expensive price it's just a, a, a just a, an essence toner it's nothing special at all um it's just a toner oh god i can't even give it away because it's all messed up and stuff so I will keep it. It's just a toner. But I just remember it's got a really expensive price to it. And I've received it again from... I think I received it in... Bye! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember the first time I received it, I was quite excited to receive it because they said it was vegan. Um, and it's Original Skin Essence toner it's got chamomile can calendula and aloe vera juice in it so it had some sort of nice ingredients but i think those ingredients were quite low down actually if i remember correctly let's have a look no the aloe vera was actually second so you got water then you got aloe vera um I mean, it's all right. It's just, well, just i just remember it was very very expensive but i'll have a look because they might have priced it more reasonably now but uh, i will keep it God, what a mess yuck then next we've got from who's this from this is oh this is body cleanser this is from what's in it for me it is what's in it for me rosemary leaf extract yeah it's a body cleanser so it's a shower gel i will use this i do like this brand actually but it's just doesn't seem to be somewhere you can buy products from because i remember when i first received shower gel body cleansers from them before maybe like two years ago three years ago and i tried to look up the information to to see where i could buy it from it just there wasn't a site that you could buy things from and i think i contacted the company and they didn't really give me uh, information as well so I'll, I'll have a look to see if things have moved on if they've developed a proper website and stuff now but i remember i did like the body cleanser i had from them the first time i had this brand so cool um and again it's just nice sort of what they probably call clean beauty probably um because it's got good ingredients in there but i remember i did enjoy this shower gel so this is something else i've received before so we've got two products i've received before repeat products and again i can't even say that um i didn't receive it from glossy box so I'm not quite sure what's going on with all these repeat products because last month we got the repeat of that blush, that duo blush. And this looks like another Pixie product here, actually, doesn't it? Yep, this is another Pixie product. This is from Pixie by Petra Brow Tamer Clear Brow Gel. Again, nothing wrong with this, but I'm not going to keep it because I tend to like using brow gels that are dark brown in colour. Um, but obviously clear brown would be good because that will work with everybody. So that is good but i'm not going to keep this um this is probably actually i was going to say it's probably the highest value thing in the box but it's probably this because i just remember it being really expensive but this i will be putting in a giveaway but it's a good product but i won't be keeping it right and uh oh there's two more products in here then we've got everything has been messed up by that serum leaking over everything so this is from oh is this from revolution beauty so i know they do um skincare and makeup and stuff so this is from revolution beauty and this is their setting spray power fix fix mist power fix fix mist so it's a setting spray from revolution beauty so everything's just sticky so that's that i will be keeping that because i do like a setting spray don't know how good it is but i will keep it give them a try i just want to wipe it down with something gush so i've got some tissue here so i'll wipe it down dear oh dear everything is just yuck okay so that's something i will keep um and then the last product in here is from nivea Nivea and this is a refreshing moisturizing cream so it just looks like it's a little sample it's the kind of thing that you get given as a little freebie so it's just, it's just a 
face, body, hands, moisturiser. Old school product this is. This is a proper old school product. But again, so this is fine. I'm hoping they didn't really put a value to this. And I hope this is just something that they've put in as an extra. Because it is something that you would just get given as a freebie. Right, okay. So that's my box this month. Again, I don't know what the theme was. I can't really see a connecting theme to everything. But just to give you an overview. So we've got this hand face body moisturiser. Which is fine. Um, good product. No problems with that at all. So I'll be keeping that. And I'll give that a score of 1. We've got um, this Revolution Beauty Power Fix Fix Mist. I will be keeping that. Set and spray. Because I like to try new set and sprays out. So that's... A score of two we've got the body cleanser from what's in it for me this is a repeat product for me um, but I do like it so I'll be keeping it so that gets a score of one so we want three out of six then we've got the pixie by Petra brow tamer in clear again it's a good product but I won't be keeping it because I tend to like my dark brown it's only because I've got grey brows now and what brows I've got there's not much of them I haven't got much hairs so I like anything that's going to build up sort of the colour so I like the I like dark brown brow gels so this one will be put in the giveaway um it's not affected by the sticky stuff as you can see so I will be putting this in the giveaway so that will get a score of zero um this vegan toner well, i've given you my opinion on that already i will be keeping it but i don't think much of it as a product but because i'm keeping it i'll be using it so it gets a score of one so we're on a score of four and then this which i would have really have liked to have kept because i would have used it on kayla um it's hot air hair goals heat protection but mine's leaked all over the box so i can't really give it a score so it gets a score of zero so it would have been my box would have been a score of four and a half out of of six but in this case I get a score of four for the products in my glossy box this month in October I'd love to know what the theme was never mind um, happy about getting chocolates I'll have that after my dinner because <laughs> why not I'm allowed it I'm allowed it it's my treat I've been very good today and we've got this little sample of the retinol boost which I probably won't keep um, if I can, is the sticky stuff all over it? Um, no, sticky stuff's not all over it. It was just a couple of the little paper shreddings. So I'll put this in the giveaway as well. That's my box. You've probably seen videos of this already from those people. Cause there's quite a few people who get this box on PR. So I know what they would have said, but there's my opinion. My opinion is it's a okay box i would have liked it if my things had come not damaged and um product hadn't leaked all over it a little bit disappointed about the repeat products so uh, repeat products for me are this this and this yeah because those are all repeats i've received all of these before so a bit disappointed about that because i like to receive new products but again at least they're all decent products to use um i was disappointed about this leaking because that's a new product for me but can't get to use it because it's not there um looking forward to trying this out from revolution beauty it's not an expensive brand but it's a new product which i want to try out so i'm happy with that um and more than happy to receive a little hand moisturizer but i'm i'm suspect no i suspect that this it was a freebie inside the box so there you go and happy to have my chocolate there you go guys that's my glossy box for october four out of six that's all right that's okay that's good actually isn't it that is that is a good score all right guys you guys let me know what you think yeah all right Take care. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right. Take care. Bye.